All right, welcome back. This is part two around Dalton's Law. So what we're going to do is expand upon what we talked about in part one, um, dealing with partial pressures. What we're going to do this time is talk about um, one more of the physiological effects of breathing gas under pressure. Okay, so get ready and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we'll wrap things up here with talking about the physiological effect that carbon monoxide will have at depth. So in this example, I've just um, picked an arbitrary gas, which we're just going to use air, um, but the air has a slight contamination of carbon monoxide in it. So we'll assume it's 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and only 1% carbon monoxide. So we'll throw a trace of carbon monoxide in there. Okay, if we inhale this gas and let's just assume that that gas has 500,000 molecules of carbon monoxide with every breath. So we inhale the gas and about 500,000 of those molecules are carbon monoxide. So it's a slight intake of that gas. Um, but we are conditioned to maybe handle that. We can, you know, our respiratory system, our bodies can filter that out without suffering any adverse reaction to it, okay? Um, but if we now consider we take this gas diving, so this could be in your cylinder, and we're now gonna take it on a dive, okay? So the pressure at depth is gonna change the physiological effect, you know, in accordance with partial pressure. So in our lungs, we can say, at sea level, so under one atmosphere pressure, there are 500,000 molecules. So we can have one, two, three, four, 500,000 molecules. You can see it's maybe not a lot and we can handle it. But we now go to 10 meters, where the pressure is twice of that at the surface. So that means it takes two times as much gas to fill those lungs at 10 meters than what it does at the surface. So with every breath you take in, you are now taking 500,000 molecules times two, because it's twice as much gas to fill the lungs. So we have one, two, three, four, 500,000, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we would actually have a million molecules of carbon monoxide entering your body, your respiratory system, at 10 meters. Now, maybe we're not conditioned to be able to, to kind of filter that through without feeling any adverse reactions. It may start to have some sort of an impact. Okay, let's take the gas to 20 meters. So at 20 meters, the pressure is three times that at the surface. That means with every breath you take in, it's gonna take three times as much gas to fill those lungs at 20 meters than what it would at the surface. So you're gonna get three times 500,000 molecules. So we can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There's one and a half million molecules entering your respiratory system with every breath that you take in. Now we haven't changed the percentage of the gas, okay? You can't change that percentage once you take a dive in. However, with depth comes pressure, and with the pressure increase comes a partial pressure increase, and more gas is needed to fill those lungs. Therefore, we could start suffering some adverse reactions, okay? So this is why it's super important to always do your gas checks, you know, do your, do your oxygen checks if you're using elevated oxygen levels, do your, your smell and your taste tests if you're using conventional air, just to make sure that you can try to identify any problems with that gas before you start taking it under pressure, because it may be fine for you at the surface. However, applying pressure to the gas can start having adverse reactions. Okay, so that wraps up our session on Dalton's Law. So if you remember, we've talked quickly about the importance in doing your checks because of the physiological reasons that come along with elevated pressures and changing of partial pressures. Okay, so 
Um, stay tuned and we'll catch you on the next episode.